Hello, everybody. <clears throat> I came to talk to you about the dark. The dark periods in our lives, those dark seasons. Two illustrations I want to share with you. I might go on two videos, I'm not sure. Time is always of the essence before this thing starts acting up. So, let's get started, shall we? Um, years ago, the Lord showed me something, and it was really surprising. I hadn't thought about it like that. We were doing an overcomers meeting, and God had given me an illustration right on the spot. And I had everybody, I had one of the guys turn off the light. And we all sat there in the dark. Now, this is something to think about. You know how sudden crisis, certain tragedies, certain calamities hit our lives. And we wonder, what is going on? Somebody turned out the lights. We're really in a dark place. And we don't like that. There's too much of the unknown, too much uncertainty, and too much fear involved. Even though we believe in God. There's too much fear, and we don't like that. I know I don't. <laughs> Ain't no need me lying. Okay, so what God showed me was everybody had to sit there for a while, and I said, what is the first instinct you have when the lights go out? And a couple of people said, oh, I just want to hurry up and turn the light back on. I said, right. I said, but what if the power's out, and it's going to be out a while? Now you have to get, you have to become aware of your surroundings. Why, you say? Because if you get up too quickly and your eyes have not acclimated to the darkness, you will bump into things and hit your shins and your knees and your, and your sides and you'll be stubbing toes and dropping and falling and everything else. So the first thing you have to do is be still. There's a scripture in Psalms 46 that says, be still and know that I am God. That is so comforting to me. I don't know what it does for you. <sighs> Chills me out. Now listen, here you are sitting in this dark room. Imagine it or even do it in your house. It's nice and bright. Turn the lights out every light out and see how long it takes you to acclimate to the darkness. Now you have to wait a while. You can't just jump up in one minute. You have to sit there two to five minutes to really allow your eyes to begin to adapt. And once they begin to adapt, here's the funny thing. When we first turned the lights out, there we were sitting in a complete circle. I could not see the people directly across from me. Couldn't see them. And then after about a minute and a half, I noticed one lady had a book in her lap. And I said, oh, you have a book in your lap. And someone else said, yeah. And I noticed so-and-so has a sweater on. And I said, yeah. And then after a while, they were actually able to tell who they were looking at. Five, six minutes. That, that went on a while. And we realize there is a benefit in waiting. There is a benefit in being still. When things go cuckoo and the lights go out in our lives, we can't jump up and react right away. We have to get our bearings. We have to ask God for wisdom. Open our eyes to what's really going on. Think about it. Because if we jump up too soon, baby, we will make a mess of things. Things will go, we'll knock things over. We'll trip over our own feet. We'll be so confused and so filled with fear that all we'll be doing is reacting, 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 making one big mess. Think about that. When a trial comes in your life, when things happen that you don't like, that throws you off balance, that hit you by surprise, that gets you on your blind side. Don't jump out that box. Be still and know that God is your God. He has control. He knows what to do. He wasn't surprised. He knew what was coming. Okay? That's the time to be still and pray. That's why the Bible says, acknowledge him in all your ways, 
and he will direct your path. Okay? So don't just lean to your own understanding. Well, I got to put out this fire. Well, I got to jump and do that. Well, I got to handle that. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to give him a, a piece of my mind. Well, how dare they talk to me like that? Hmm, I'll get my answer. No, no, no. Don't jump all over the place. Be still. You don't know what to do anyway. Be still. Amen. Trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. God bless you.